Hey everyone, Viper Jill here, and I'm going to be starting a new series on the channel, Mirror's Edge. I've mentioned it quite a few times when I finish, um, when I finished a few games that I want to play Mirror's Edge, I want to play Mirror's Edge, I want to play Mirror's Edge, uh, before the newest one comes out. And you know what? I figured I'll just, I'll finally play it. Now, um, this is one of my favorite games. If you don't know what Mirror's Edge is, basically think of first person parkour. You know, it's got a little bit of a shooter element, stuff like that, and it's it's just really interesting. Uh, we're going to be playing on normal. On this gamer tag, I don't think I've done anything. Yeah, I think it's completely new on this gamer tag, but um, on my other ones. Once the city used to Wait, oh, with energy. Dirty and dangerous, but alive and wonderful. Now, it's something else. I freaking the art style, too. First. Most didn't realize didn't care and accepted them they chose a comfortable life some didn't and those who refused to conform were pushed to the sidelines criminalized they became our clients we call ourselves runners we exist on the edge between the gloss and the reality the mirror's edge we keep out of trouble out of sight and the cops don't bother us. Runners see the city in a different way. They see the flow. Rooftops become pathways and conduits, possibilities, and routes of escape. The flow is what keeps us running, keeps us alive. Yeah. <laughs> the whole game does not look like that, though. Yeah, I know you hate it, but that fall took you out of commission for a while. And now you're back, you gotta keep sharp. Especially in this city. Check out these new training grounds. Pretty slick, huh? So let's not run around duty. So get to her and just go with the flow. Okay? And I believe this is the tutorial. Upwards movement, such as jumping. Try to jump. Downwards, such as crouching. Yes. Yes. I never use that. <laughs> I never use it. Rotovision shows you movement and interactive opportunities. Keep your eyes open for red objects. Basically, every time you see a red object, that's like, hey, go over to it. You can do something. Press that to jump over. Ta-da! And then you can slide under here. And then you immediately see this. Well, look at your goal. Celeste is calling you over. Get to her. Screw Celeste! <laughs> I don't like that woman! And, of course, she's red as well. Hi, Faith. Welcome back. I think she's gonna teach me about combat. I we'll be seeing you so soon. Oh wait, no. She wants to race first. You're not special. I can do that. See, I got the speed lines, and then I hit the roll, and then I just vault straight over this. You're not special. Then you're gonna wall run. I can do that too. Guess what? Wall run. You're not special. Then I can vault over this instead of sliding under, and I believe I can kick through the door. Oh wait, that's not kick, that's a punch. <laughs> Where's my kick? I closed it! Keep your balance, do not fall off this, because if you look down, you will die. So do not fall- Of course I failed! I was trying to tell people what not to do, I'm being Bear grills. Duh, it's okay. You know, you jump into things, tell people, hey, don't do this. Because you're Bear Grylls. <laughs> you're not special, I can do that too. If I can wall run, what makes you think I can't swing across that? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that hurt. <laughs> but basically... Like I said before, you see anything red, basically you want to follow that line. I believe you can... Oh wait, no. Can't do that yet. I didn't say anything. Gotta shimmy shimmy. Wait, do I shimmy this way? Shimmy to the left or right. The fence prevents you from getting up. Look around the corner and... Okay. <laughs> it's left, not right. It clearly told me that. Now we gotta do some fancy stuff. But basically, 
this is just the tutorial right here. Later on, they'll get into more advanced things and like um, running away from enemies, all that good stuff. What? I didn't fail. I got up there. I did better than you. I mean, wouldn't it be a good thing to just completely miss grabbing on in the first place? But no. See. <laughs> okay. Okay. Jerk. I'm gonna try and keep these videos around, well, for this series, around 20 to 25 minutes. Ow. <laughs> okay. Wall run turns out. They are happy. <laughs> Jerks. But, uh, yeah, when it comes to games that are broken up into chapters like this, I'm always confused as to whether I should separate them by. Well, ch separate videos by chapters or by, you know, actual time to keep it consistent. The thing is, games with chapters, very rarely are their chapters very consistent in length. So you'll have something that's like 20 minutes and then another chapter that's an hour and then another chapter that might be 30 minutes and I don't like that. I want consistency. Oh god! I didn't press the button! <laughs> I pressed the wrong button! I press the jump button to get down. I mean, it makes sense to me, right? It does make sense you're jumping from a zip line. So you press the jump button. But no, you need to crouch from the zip line. And I missed it. God dang it. I get it. You think you're better than me. I get it. I'm gonna kick your butt. This game has a bunch of, um, like, time trial stuff you can do. They'll just set up a course and you can run through it, see how fast you can go. And I believe this is one of the time trial courses. Yeah! Oh! Jump crouch. Yes. Opposite. Jump crouch. And whoa! Skill roll! That was not a skill roll! I did a skill roll the very first time they told me not to do it. Hold that and we can vault. Yes. We are good. This game also doesn't have very much music going on unless you're being chased. Combat? Combat. Merc wants me to run you through some sparring. You know how he is. You ready? Sure. Okay, come on. Can I hit your face? No, 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 no. Let me, let me hit your face. Haha! <laughs> I did it. <laughs> that was not her face! <laughs> you can string together different moves and attacks. This will make you more effective in combat. Yeah. Alright, Faith. Let's run through some weapon disarms. Just in case. Disarm? Thank you. Let me shoot it, let me shoot it. Come on, let me shoot it. To fire, use the right trigger, but don't hit Celeste. Are you sure? <laughs> Fine, I'm sorry. I just really don't like her. Blah. Remember what I taught you, Faith. Isolate them. Fight them one at a time if you gotta fight. To perform a frontal disarm when the weapon turns red, timing is very important. Ta-da. Just tap somebody in the back of their head. They'll drop their gun. This is what this game teaches you. Slow- Excuse me. <laughs> X enter slow motion when reaction time is available. Blue reticle. This makes it easy to disarm hostiles. Running generates reaction time. Whoops. Press X and slow motion and bop. Just a slight pat on the head. Bop. <laughs> and then we shoot her! And then we shoot her! And then we shoot her! Dang. Okay, that's enough training, ladies. Gotta get to the real thing. Drake's got a job for yourself, so check in with him. Drake? Faith, let me know when you're ready to get going. Isn't everyone all crazy about his, um, his new CD or something that just hardly came out? Views? You have completed the training. What do you want to do? I want to play the game. Honestly, I don't even listen to Drake. The only... The only Drake song I know is Hotline Bling, and that's because it's everywhere. I don't even listen to him. Oh! The game is actually starting. I'm 
not skipping cutscenes. What kind of what kind of person do you think I am? I'm not that heartless. Mirror's Edge. Wall run? Oh, this isn't me playing, by the way. <laughs> it's a cutscene. Well, the official beginning game cutscene. Which, in my opinion, kind of looks like a tech demo. I'm pretty sure you don't have to do anything like that in game. That I can remember. But, um... I know I say the game doesn't have much music, but the music that is there, I freaking love it. Just the theme itself. It's so nice. Now we can actually play. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure the birds are real impressed, me, But once you finish showing off, you think you might concentrate on some actual work? No. Get dressed in position for a handoff. You need to get the delivery to her. She'll be near the communications tower ahead of her. What if I just want to run around? What if I want to explore my newfound superpowers? That's not it. I tried to roll, but I caught onto the ledge, and I pressed the button to roll, and she was like, nope, I'm just gonna let go. And roll. And we vault over this, and slide under that. I said slide under that. God damn it. You ruined it, my flow. There are um, collectibles on this game, but I will not be getting them. I will get what I can find, but uh, I'm not going to go out of my way <laughs> to find them. Am I supposed to go up here yet? I am. God, it's been so long since I've played this game. It's just, it's a really nice, peaceful game where you can run the around and explore to your heart's back. content. So get pissed. She's almost at the comp tower and you ain't. Get moving and give her the bag. Will take it from there. Except not really because it's a linear game. <laughs> it's not exactly what I meant. I mean, it's just... Like, I'm pretty sure we've all played RPGs or something, and we see all of these buildings or something in the distance, and it's like, man, I'm gonna go in those. What's over there? What's up there? And in this game, you can actually do it. <laughs> it's, and I love their use of color. I mean, granted... Sounds like some blues are headed your way. News chopper tip Oops. Off. Granted, this is a very white game, I guess you would say. <laughs> but where they use color, it's very nice. Turn around, and I believe I can go up here. Yep. Hey! One of the collectibles! Bags are hidden in stash points for location Ah. For collection. Excuse me. <laughs> or discarded by runners in trouble. A runner glyph will indicate a stash point nearby. And runner glyphs are... That's not it. It basically looks like the tattoo she has on her eye. But I'm not gonna waste time trying to find it. You should always try to get away from hostiles. Ooh. Roll. Hey, and run away. <laughs> if I remember correctly, you can. Oh, you can't take the shortcut. <laughs> Maybe it's not right here. Wires are going crazy. Get out of there, man. <laughs> but you generally do not want to fight people. You just want to run. You just want to disarm. Oh God. Oh God. I went the wrong way. There's a door right there. Vault! For no reason! They're shooting. They are freaking shooting! Crap! I thought it was gonna land on the edge. But yes, avoid combat when you can. You can make it through this whole game without uh, shooting a single character. Well, single enemy. And believe me! <laughs> that's not easy! Enemies you need to get through unmarked with red with runner vision. Fight them or run past them. Well then, if I can run past them, then there's really no. Ha! Ah! Oh, you shot me. <laughs> See? 
If I can run past them, then why why did you say I have to fight them? Excuse me. Oh shoot! I'm gonna die! Give me your weapon! You ready, so? I don't want it! Yep, I can <laughs> be safe now. <laughs> if I can run past them, why would you tell me I have to shoot them dead? Tell me that. Get to Celeste. There are more blues on the way. Come on, Faith. CP up on your tail. Hey, throw me the bag. Why? I don't trust you. Okay, I got it from here. Okay. I never have. I'll be fine. Get out of here. Yeah, I would be running if you didn't make me stop and talk to you. <laughs> Goodbye. Not there. And there's my escape. Escape. Yeah. And there's me just awkwardly dangling. They could have done that better if they're gonna show off their reflection, honestly. <laughs> but what was I saying? It's not chapter one. Why the hell were they shooting? What did you do, Faith? Nothing. They just opened fire. Don't know what the hell's happening. I'll ask around. Get your ass back to base, Faith. No. Yes, it was. Prologue complete. <clears throat> I'm a pacifist. Because I didn't shoot anyone. That's what I wanted. I mean, the first few chapters is very easy to make it through without shooting anyone, but later on, when they've got automatic weapons aiming at you and there's like ten hey, coming at you at a time, it's kind of hard. <laughs> Robert Pope, taking a statement on that break-in last week? Yeah, anyways, it's, uh, 56 West Arlen Drive. Tell Lieutenant Miller. Copy that. I'll relay the message, Officer Connors. Thanks. Connors out. Hmm. She thinks she's L. You there, kiddo? Hey, Mark. I bet you're listening to the chatter. You know me. I'll try and get some sleep. It's been a rough day. Gonna put the word out tomorrow. See why those blues got itchy trigger fingers. I'll drop by later, okay? And don't chuck that pizza. I like the topping for sure. Matured. Yeah, I know. Ugh. See you, Mark. Shots fired. Repeat, shots fired. All units proceed to 56 West Arlen Drive immediately. Proceed with caution. Kate! Where are you? Kate, where are you? Forget Kate! Hey. Merc. You off? Just get on comms and track me. Chapter one or chapter Almost two there. officially. Well, anytime you'd like to tell me where there is and what the hell you're doing, feel free. It's my sister. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna see if I can figure out what's going on. Give me a sec. Wait, no, I got the names confused. Okay. Her sister's okay. The blonde girl can get out of here. I don't like her. How how close can I <gasps> I'm actually on the little lip! <gasps> That's so barren down there. If I remember correctly, if an enemy is close to you, you're on an edge, and you like jump and flip like that, she'll like flip them off <laughs> as she's falling. I mean, I don't understand the point of that, because, you know, I'm dead. <laughs> but hey, I guess she wants to flip them off that badly. Alright. That is an electric fence. Obviously, we cannot touch that. I mean, we could, but it's highly advisable that you do not. And vault over this. Hmm. But as I said before, this game is... It's very... Linear. Once you've played through it... Okay, Drake says there's been some heat on West Arlen. Pope's place. I guess that's where you're headed, but be careful. I'll tell him what's going on there. I don't care about Drake. I really don't. I don't care about his ugly owl sweaters either. <laughs> it looks like a kindergartner threw him. I'm sorry. But anyway. 
boy, shut up! Someone who could actually make a difference in this place. I guess I'll just shut up. Because every time I want to open my mouth, there he goes talking. Oh, I can talk now? I can talk now? Are you sure? My first time playing through this game, you have no idea how long it took me to figure out I needed to jump from up there. Because it didn't look like I could make it. Oh god, I hate being indoors. I really do. Because usually you get ambushed or bombarded. Use A to interact with buttons like this elevator. You can interact with various buttons and valves in the game. And here goes my main complaint about this game. Elevators. They just throw them into every freaking tall building. It makes sense because it acts as a loading zone. But it just completely slows down the game flow because you just have to stand here. Wait till it loads. And do nothing. It just completely slow. Oh, I know this place. I'm fairly certain I do. Yeah, I know this place, god dang it. Kate? What are you doing here? What happened? Did you? No! I did get their names mixed up. Recognize him? Should I? It's Robert. Robert Pope? Friend of Dad's? Shit, that Pope. He called me. We hadn't talked much since I joined up. He had a break in last week. He's still a campaigner. Don't you read the news? It's not, not really news anymore. It's advertising. He was running for mayor. So the break-in must have really spooked him then. That's what I thought. But it was odd. He told me about the break-in, asked me to come, then asked after you. Really? I haven't seen him for at least ten years. Anyway, he was alive when I got here. Just sitting at his desk, writing. Everything went black. When I came to, he'd been shot. And I'm pretty sure it's with my gun. There was a book on the desk, a diary. You got incriminated. Gone. I'm sure there was someone else in the building. Left my radio in the car, haven't had time to phone it in. Come on, come with me. I'll take you somewhere safe. This isn't the time to run. I'm not like you. Running will just make me look guilty. You think this was an accident, Kate? There are no accidents in this city. Someone wanted him dead and wanted you to take the fall. Help me, Effie, please. You've got contacts. There's got to be more to this. Something he knew. Something he wanted to tell me. I can't get involved in this, Kate. You know what I do. I just print. Can't. Blue's incoming. CPF? You might want to be out going right about oh now. Oh, God. I'll see what I can do. You know, all the times this I played this game. Badly. Dang it! Lieutenant Miller, <laughs> my superior. Take anything you find to him. I'm serious, Faith. Remember, they're not playing nice. Get out of there. Now go! And Faith... Thank you. You're welcome. I didn't do a thing. I honestly didn't. That was the most awkward hug ever. Ever. But not more awkward than the Fang and Vanille hug in Final Fantasy 13, I swear. <laughs> if you are stuck and need guidance, holding B will point you in the right direction. Shit! <gasps> well, <laughs> that's been it for this first part. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> because, um... Um, you know, I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it at that.